One of the busiest weekends for beaches, especially here in the coastal bend, but it can also be the most dangerous. Today was actually a red flag day, a high risk for rip currents. Our Taylor Alanis joins us with a message from emergency officials. Taylor. Michelle, the conditions were so bad that beaches in Galveston were closed for people's safety. Of course, those beaches had a double red flag, meaning it just wasn't safe for people to be in the water at all. But here on the island, we just had one red flag up, which means people can get into the water, but the risk is high for rip currents. So what are rip currents? Well, experts say contrary to popular belief, rip currents don't exactly pull you under, but farther away from shore. It's when the water starts to pull outwards into the ocean that it can be dangerous. Someone gets caught by the riptides, they try fighting against it, they get really tired real fast. We're not like, uh, you know, big athletes all the time. Not everyone's a very strong swimmer. And once you get really tired, it's very easy for you to start like uh, fatiguing out, get cramps, and then actually go underneath the water. Captain Christopher Burkhart with Nueces County ASD number two says spotting a river of foam in the waves is a good indicator of a rip current and also the splitting of waves. He says if you get caught in a rip current, do not go towards the shore. You're going to want to swim parallel to the shore. Burkhart says in the U.S. 50 people die a year from being caught in rip currents and he wants parents this Memorial Day and year round to keep an eye on your children. And if you aren't a strong swimmer, go don't go too far out into the water. Michelle. All right.